the Mills concept creates two high-low reads to put the deep safeties and linebackers in conflict. Whether it's run at two safeties or one, it works to tempt players up to open up space behind them. The concept consists of two primary routes and then is also run with a third supplementary route underneath. As long as these two main routes are run next to each other, it's usually considered the Mills concept. So those two routes are a post from the outside receiver and a 10 to 12 yard dig from the inside receiver. So ultimately the Mills concept creates two separate high-low reads. There's one between the dig and the post, which attacks the safety. And then there's one between the drag and the dig, which exploits the linebackers. A lot of teams like this play against cover four because it can force the play side safety to come up on the dig. That leaves the corner with outside leverage and the opposite safety too far away to make a play. That's exactly what happens to the Packers here. Matt Ryan is reading the play side safety to the top of the screen. As soon as he comes down on the dig, the post is open over the top for a touchdown. That same exact thing happened here for the Titans when they were playing the Texans. They hit that deep post on Mills after the safety comes up on the dig. That put them in field goal position to end up winning the game and, and solidify their spot in the playoffs. Conversely though, when the safety stays on top of the post in the middle of the field, that opens up the dig underneath if the linebackers are pulled up on play action or by the shallow drag. So the quarterback has a couple things he needs to do on this play. Number one, he needs to identify the coverage for an alert to throw the post. Number two, he needs to read the safety on the high low for the post and the dig. And then number three, read the linebackers on the high low for the dig and shallow. The linebackers get depth and carry the dig upfield to take away that window. That vacates the area underneath for the drag that's coming across the field. If there's green grass in front of him, the receiver will continue across the field, and if it's zone, he'll settle in the soft spot on the opposite side of the formation. The Raiders get depth under the dig, and the pressure gets home before Rivers has a chance to load up for the post. That forces the ball to go underneath to the drag. The Mills concept is versatile in its ability to attack deep safeties and underneath defenders. Depending on the philosophy of the offense and how teams treat the post, it can be a high percentage play underneath with a great opportunity for a huge gain over the top. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a comment, especially if you have any questions about Mills and the concept itself. Happy to answer and get back to you guys. Otherwise, give me some suggestions on the, the NFL film breakdowns if you have any ideas there. And if not, I'll see you guys on the next breakdown.